Hey, Scoob. Yeah? Do you want to review a toy from the Master of the Universe movie? Do I have to? Yes! Mm. Now, the interesting thing with the Masters of the Universe live-action movie is that although it was from a toy line originally, hmm. the toy makers don't necessarily have the rights to make toys from the film. They didn't make a He-Man, which resembled the version of them from the film. They yeah. didn't make a Skeletor, which resembled the version from the film. Yeah. But they made three of the original characters which first appeared in the film. That was Gwildor, which mm -hmm. we have here. Mm -hmm. There was Blade, the swordsman, yep. and Sorod, the lizard guy. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, it gets killed off very quickly. Exactly. Yeah. So these are reproductions of the original versions of those toys. They're like... reimaginings of them. Right. <laughs> so That's the a whole... nice euphemism there. Exactly. <laughs> the whole idea is to update them with modern toy technology, but to still have a lot of those features which harken back to yeah. the 1980s originals. Yep. However, with Gwildor here, you really do have a lot more of it being like it's a modern day version of the movie character. Mm -hmm. um, so you have a lot of intricate detailing in there which normally you wouldn't see in a Masters of the Universe character even in the classics line. Okay. Certainly you take a look at the head sculpt and that's very much like Billy Barty's performance mm. uh, under those prosthetics to portray Gwildor. You know, it really looks like the movie character. I am Gwildor of Thenor! What's he got with him? He looks like he has um, is that the Cosmic Key? It is. We have two versions of the Cosmic Key. Uh -huh. yeah. So this one here we have is the Cosmic Key. Um, this particular one has been previously released with the He-Man in Preternia disguise, where he utilized the Cosmic Key to travel back in time. Yeah. Um, and on this side we've got the full Cosmic Key, mm. um, which as you can see is a big standalone piece. It's much bigger than it was actually in the film. Um, it doesn't rotate or anything like that. Um, but it does look pretty cool in terms of the, the brushed metal and the golds and the reds in there. Yeah. Uh, and of course we've also got his technological staff here, which has got some technology bits and bobs on it. Oh, cool. Um, so again, going on with the idea that he was much more technology based than the, the magic, which seemed to be just the realm of Evelyn and Skeletor and the Sorceress. Yeah. Um, he's got this little Gandalf style staff. I think he's a really good representation of the character. Mm -hmm. I am Gwildor So articulation wise, mm. we do again follow a lot of the rules of the Masters of the Universe Classics line. Yeah. Um, the head is on a ball joint, but a lot of it is obscured by the hair which is hanging down here. Yeah. Um, the arms are articulated and have quite a bit of good movement to them, but again they're hindered by these cuffs. Mm. We've kind of seen this issue before with these characters that wear sort of long flowing, mm. you know, thick padded kind of costumes that yeah. their articulation is uh, sort of hindered by that. Um, but I guess that's, that's just the way it goes. You've got to have them looking right first and then articulation comes sort of secondary to well, that's, that. That's the big trade-off. You can either have them fully articulated and have the clothing sculpted in such a way that you can move it but it's not going to look as look good. As good yeah. uh, or you can go this little route that they've gone here in terms of making it look better mm. but it means you can move it less. And that's always going to be the trade-off that you have to make for sculpt versus articulation. You know, How playable do you want it to be versus how good it looks standing on the shelf. Yeah. I'm glad they made the toy of it, to be honest. I think he's pretty cool. He looks really good. And if you guys uh, agree or disagree, leave a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We're out of here for now. So we'll see you next time on OSD Toy Reviews. See ya.